So a bit of a uh, combined or spliced video today where we'll uh, get some garlic, autumn planted garlic, which will overwinter into this bed here, which we've cleared up uh, using the uh, Wolf Garden soil miller. And uh, right at the back today, which will probably be the back end of the video, we'll uh, pop some uh, elephant garlic in and we'll uh, show you the size of clothes we've harvested and kept over for replanting this year. So let's go and have a look. So today we'll uh, get a section of the uh, plot planted up with some autumn sown garlic. We've got carcass on white. We've got another variety called cook white. Uh, we'll get those in now. We've got a whole section cleared using uh, pork and the soil miller. And we'll just hope that uh, that isn't going to be affected by white rot for uh, garlic next year. One tip I have kind of picked up is getting the idea to pull it before it goes yellow and let it dry out of the ground. I think earlier years have just left the garlic in too long. So we'll get the uh, section sorted out today. We're going to be planting the autumn sown garlic. But have a look. So what we're going to get in this section, which was the tomatoes from last year, we'll do the uh, autumn sown garlic and some uh, onions which we'll get on the uh, other bed over there um, but we'll get a uh, nice little uh, section planted up here uh, might just get this uh, started in this section first we've given it a mill over there are a few sort of you know topped off weeds knocking around um, but we should be able to uh, you know, work around those Over winter and get them uh, you know keep them quite clean so obviously you get your autumn sown uh, garlic um, through the post get it out of your nets as soon as possible and uh, just get them planted just uh, only about six inches apart This is Colk White, this variety. Obviously you get the individual cloves. And I'll just get them plopped in, one per hole. About at least the same depth as the um, clove itself hopefully fingers crossed there's been no alliums uh, grown in this part of the plot um, for a long time so I'm hoping that we will not have any onion white rot in this section. We'll get this planted up, we should be able to overwinter nicely. I'm planning on this year to have square sections rather than lines. Should just have enough maybe for one whole block, maybe not. Just three left. Tiddlers though, but I'm gonna really keep on top of this bed for weeds because as I say it's been a challenge to get through all of that. There we go. Let's get 
getting covered up. Bit of garlic. Yes, yeah, so we'll get these planted up. This is carcass on white. This one. With a bigger bulb, this one. Hopefully these will be as good as this size. It's a bit tricky to get. At. Do get your packages with your you know autumn you know or onion sets and garlic out of the box as soon as possible and they won't hopefully sweat and rot in the boxes now they're a great size that was look this carcass on white that's a great size of clove that Let's try. Honestly, reading this is going to be well fun. <laughs> there's a few more in a bulb, the carcass on white, which is seems to be good value for money. Bit of a rotten one, yeah. Don't obviously plant any bit of green or have any, you know, mold on them if you can avoid it. All right. Four by four there, sorry, three by four, be able to get another head on the other side, to be able to get the other head. You can obviously push it in, fingers a little to some extent. These are great size. Obviously, don't peel them, you know, especially to plant them. But equally, if the skins come off, it's not the end of the world. Break into this bulb now. Focus on white looks great. What have we got left? Yeah, maybe another row. The ground's quite soft after having weeded and mown it and milled it and whatever you call it, so you can push in. Not too bad. And there's a few just for the other end. Two more. There we go. That's a good, decent. I'll use that to mark the next section. Yeah, quite happy with that. There you go. There's a few spaces down the bottom there, but there we go. That's uh, two sections of overwintered garlic done. So this is where we put the. Uh garlic so far we've got a little space left at the back 
for wear. Well, I know it's a bit weedy, but we'll get that uh, got the elephant garlic now to go in here. So this is this year's saved elephant garlic scene. Now look at the size of that. Yep, and we'll get them nicely planted in there. Good clove size on these that we've managed to save this far. And popped in here. About 18, about, maybe about a foot apart maybe. We'll put the smaller cloves on this side here where the path is because that's a bit, look at the size of that one. I'll uh, give these a bit of a hand weed in a bit, in a bit over the over the winter. Yeah, there's some great uh, cloves of uh, elephant garlic. Yeah, so that's the autumn sown garlic bed done. Looking a bit weedy, but I'm going to really keep on top of this over winter and try and keep these uh, weeds down. The cats have been loving this bed. I've been using it as a litter tray, unfortunately, so I'll not be hand weeding it. I'll be definitely using a trowel. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the uh, garlic here. We've got the colk white in this section here. We've then got the uh, carcass on white. And then we've got Kingland white here in this section and we've just finished off today as you've seen earlier got the elephant garlic planted in we've got some of the larger cloves which haven't actually differentiated into separate cloves in the batch of I think they may have been from those um, little holmes or that you get on the sides of the bulbs so a bit of a weedy bed it's not had onions or garlic in it before so fingers crossed we won't get any uh, onion white rot this year but uh, next job over winter probably uh, not this weekend next weekend is clear this section next to the bit where the polytunnel was we'll get that cleared up and we'll get some onions in that bed over there so also some garlic done fingers crossed for a decent harvest this year So, hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you like the video, I'd be grateful if you give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've got any suggestions or comments, then type away down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then press the subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified the next time we put a video out. But thanks for watching today. Cheers.